Hello everyone, we are here to talk about the channels enhancements with Clarity 15.9.1. So as part of 15.9.1, based on um, a, a huge feedback from our customers as to how much they love channels, we have made several enhancements to it. Um, the, the key ones is one, the channel, is the number of channels have been increased from five to 15. We have made channels now as a common component that is available across investment types and channels will now also um, support custom attributes as your input parameters. The Several of our customers that are making a big push from classic UI to modern UX uh, have reached out to us asking for certain specific functionalities um, such as portlets or administration of uh, Clarity as that not available in the modern UX. Um, in order for us to address that, um, we have then now enhance the channel functionality so that the customers can continue to leverage those classic UI functionalities while being in the modern UX. Customers have also asked us that they want to use channels for more than just five uh, punchbacks into classic or uh, external applications. So because of that feedback, we have increased the limit uh, from five to 15. So the first big change is now channels have been made as a general module and is available in the following investment types. It is available in projects, idea, custom object, and custom investment type. Users can create up to 15 channels per blueprint and copying of a blueprint will also copy the channels that have been defined in that blueprint. So let's look at how the channels can be configured now, which is uh, different from uh, the previous versions of Clarity. The first thing is when you go into a blueprint and you go into the module section to configure channels, there is going to be a new button. The new button is what you would click on, which will then make the channel configuration available to you. And you can define the channel information such as the name, the URL and the refer URL. You can define up to 15 channels and once you reach a limit of 15, the button will then disappear, preventing you from creating any more channels. When defining the channel, the users can use any existing parameters, which is, if you remember in the previous releases, we used to have five parameters. You can now, moving forward, use those five plus any of your custom attributes as a parameter to your channel, provided those custom attributes are of one of these three types. Number, string, single value lookup static or NSQL based. The syntax to include those attributes is um, pretty straightforward. It's the dollar sign, curly brackets, and the API alias of your attribute. The API alias is what you define when you create the attribute in Clarity Studio. Once the channel is configured, um, the administrators have the option to remove that channel from the available, uh, from the selected modules by clicking on the X button on top of that uh, predefined uh, channel. So there's that X, you can click on that. And what that will do is it'll move the channel from the selected pane to as available modules. So it doesn't delete it, it just moves it out so that you don't see it in, in your uh, available modules. If you want to delete the channel, then you do have the option to delete it by selecting the channel and then using the delete button. This button will then completely delete this channel and 
you are um, you have the option to then create a new one. So with that, let's see the channels in action. So here I am in Clarity 15.9.1. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my different dashboards that I have created um, in uh, using channels. I have created a custom object that I'm going to use for my dashboard purpose. So in this case, in the custom object, I have created multiple instances. And this is what I'm going to use as my dashboard for either different types of data I want to see or different applications I want to pull into my um, uh, my Clarity uh, system. So the first one is going to be the Agile dashboard. I've defined this dashboard with certain uh, dashboard filters, and I have created channels in my custom objects. Now I have channels that I, I have defined. The first one is my capacity plan dashboard that I am going to use to see rally information within my Clarity. So in this case, when going in, I am seeing the rally dashboard itself. The, the beauty of it now is that because I can pass my custom attributes parameters to uh, my channels, in this case, I'm looking at the QD capacity, but maybe I want to look at the Q1 capacity because I see a certain team is over allocated. So I can just go back to my properties. I can say, well, let's compare it to my Q1. So I change my capacity to Q1. I go back into my uh, capacity plan and now I can see the Q1 capacity and here everything was fine. So I can now have my channels with the different parameters that I can control. If I want to just look at my rally as a dashboard itself, which is being able to see the rally team board, I can do that from right here by going into my rally dashboard. And let's say I open this up to my end user saying that maybe they can create custom pages, right? So I don't want to control what rally information they want to see in Clarity. I will open this up to them. And what they can do is they can come into my dashboard, go into the properties, and I've defined a string where any custom page they create in Rally, they can then populate that value right here. So I was looking at team board. Maybe I want to look at investments. So then I can just change this value to investments. And now if I go into the Rally dashboard, I can see investments. And now I'm just seeing the investments for here. So I can change to any other custom one. So I have my entire rally uh, available to me by passing just custom parameters to it. I can also see my uh, Jira dashboards. So if I have uh, in my company multiple rally, uh, multiple agile systems, um, and one of them might be uh, Jira. So I can just have that added right here. And now I can see the Jira information too. Let's go back out. Let's look at my dashboards that I might have for different BI. So in this case, in this dashboard, again, it's a custom investment instance. In this case, I have channels created for my different BI reports that I want to just be able to see from um, Clarity itself. In this case, there is no properties page. All I have are the different reports that I can just navigate and see the data instantaneously within Clarity itself. So now I can see the different funding, the go-to-market information. These are all dashboards, um, which is pulling Power BI reports. Next, let's look at Clarity. Um, if I am a Clarity administrator, and one of the requirement I had was that in up till now, I always have to go back to uh, the Clarity Classic view to make any administrative changes. And I didn't want to do that. I want to remain within the modern UX. Well, now I can create um, um, a, a, an object instance with 
channels that will punch back to the key administrative sections. In this case, I have 15 different channels that are defined to the 15 top uh, administrative functions that I leverage. Here, I can see system options. If I want to do the data math settings, I can go there. If I want to manage resources, I can go into resources. If I want to um, do my object definition, I can go right here into my object definition and I can make all the object changes. So now I have my full um, administrative information available to me right here as a dashboard. Um, just for reiterating, dashboard is just a custom object that I've created in my instance. This is not something we ship out of the box. This is a custom object with custom object instances created for this demo purpose only. Um, the last dashboard I want to show is the project dashboard. This is a, a dashboard that I've created for me to be able to see the classic UI dashboards that are there, such as portlets and so on. So the first is I want to be able to see the project dashboard information for any specific uh, project. So let's just say I want to see for 4G upgrade readiness. So that's the project. If I now go into project dashboard, I can see the dashboard just for my um, 4G upgrade readiness right here. I can go back and change it to uh, another project. Go back in. So you can see essentially now I am calling the classic information available to me while passing parameters of functionality that is missing for quite some time, which mimics the portlets and portlet filter type of functionality. Speaking of portlet filter, I have another channel, which is an actual portlet filter where I want to pass parameters to it. So I have my late milestone portlet defined in my classic. The, this portlet will accept a filter for the days late. So this will now display to me the milestones that are five days or over uh, late. So as you can see, there are two milestones that are late. They're late by 43 and 40 days. So let's see, maybe I'm only interested for those that are uh, over 30 days late. So I'm going to go back and change this to 30 days. Now I go back to my late milestone. And now I can see just one that is over 30 days late. So now I'm able to leverage existing uh, portlets all within my um, modern UX. Let's go look at some of the definition for these channels. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So in this case, I will just look at the Clarity definition. So let's look at the Clarity dashboard definition. Here is my project dashboard. So I'm using relative URL because this is within my own Clarity system. And I'm passing the parameter, which is the uh, active ID for my project. This is, if you remember, was the lookup. So I'm passing the lookup value to here. And my late milestone, in this case, I'm passing the number of days that are late uh, to, my, um, to my portal. That concludes the demo for the channels enhancements.